Hi, my name is Alex from APC Dynamics. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to allocate tariff and duties to your inventory costs. First, we're going to define the tariff code or the HTS codes and how to assign that to your items. Then we're gonna talk about setting the tariff and duty either by percent or per unit of measure, depending on your country of origin. Lastly, we're gonna talk about how to allocate the tariff and duty into your inventory items when we do the item charge assignments. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is set up the tariff code and the percentages associated with the tariff. The first thing I'm gonna bring up is the tariff number. And I need to set up the HTS codes for the goods that I'm gonna be importing. Within each tariff code, you could click on this tariff and duty percentage per country of origin to set up the different countries and the percentage of the duty or the tariff. So if I click on the storage unit, and I click on the tariff and duty percentage, you could set up the different country of origin and what the duty or the tariff percentages are. In addition, there are some tariffs or duties that are per unit. So in addition to the percentage, you can also set per unit how much additional duty or tariff you need to pay. So this is an example of a custom brokerage invoice from your freight forwarder. So in here, you see that there are some items that you imported including the country of origin and the tariff and duty that you're going to be paying. Typically, the custom broker will pay this fee for you and they will collect from you. So let's enter this information in Business Central. In Business Central, you will want to define the tariff number and the country of origin code for your items. So if I bring up an item, under the cost and posting fast tab, you'll see the tariff number and the country of origin. You want to make sure these fields are filled in so it's defaulted for you you could always overwrite it at the time of the item charge allocation. So let's enter the purchase invoice now from their custom broker. I'm gonna go to purchase invoice, click on new, type in my vendor, and on the type, I wanna define it as charge item. And the first thing I'm gonna enter is my tariff. Enter quantity of one. The direct unit cost, you will want to fill in the total tariff that is billed to you from your customs broker. So in this case, it's going to be 22525 Now I'm ready to do my allocation. Click on line, relate information, and item charge assignment. Click on the get receipt lines. Highlight the receipt lines that related to this customs broker invoice. Click on OK. And just a plug there, if you're using the container management app, this step is done for you automatically, so you don't have to do the get receipt lines. You would just allocate it on the container level. From here, I'm gonna click on suggest item charge assignment, and I'm gonna allocate it by tariff and duty. I'm gonna click okay. After you do the get receipt lines, on the right hand side, you'll see that the tariff number and the country origin will automatically populate based on whatever's defined on the item card. If the country origin is different for this particular container, you would need to override this directly from the item charge assignment screen. So in our case, this ethernet cable is coming from China instead of from Denmark. After I've defined my tariff number and the country origin, I can click on suggest item charge assignment and allocate by tariff and duty. When I click OK, it will allocate based on the tariff and duty percentages I set for the country of origin. So if I check on my invoices, I can see that my Bluetooth headphones, the tariff and duty is 18,125. And if I look back to Business Central, my speaker is indeed the correct allocation. If there are any differences, you'll get a, a different amount. So for example, if I update this to zero, it'll tell you how much you're off by. So if there's any difference between what you've been charged and what's been declared on the tariff number or the HTS code, you'll need to bring that issue with your customs broker. So again, click on allocate by tariff duty, close. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my broker fees. And in this case, my broker fee is going to be $250. So I'm going to type in 250 and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Item charge assignment, get receipt line, highlight the receipt lines that 
are associated with this customs invoice. Again, you do not need to do this step if you're using the containers to do your receiving. Click on suggest item charge assignment. And in our case, I'm going to allocate the broker fee based on the dollar value of the products. Click on close. Now I want to make sure my total is matches with my uh, vendor's invoice. 22, that is correct. I want to copy over the invoice number, make sure my posting date is correct and click on post. And that completes the item charge allocation by tariff process. Okay, just a quick recap on what we've gone over. We defined the tariff code and the HTS codes, and we set the tariff percentages per unit measure per the country of origin. You could define this as a percentage or per unit that you're importing. And lastly, we went through the calculation of the tariff and duty using the item charge assignments. Obviously, this step is going to be a lot easier if, if you receive the product using the container management app. But if you don't, if you want to just use the tariff allocation piece, you're able to do so. If you run into any issues, please don't hesitate to reach out. Talk to you guys soon.